Western culture does death very badly in many different ways. And one of the ways that we do not excel is that we don't teach or we aren't taught by the cultural structures and patterns how to die. We have a lot of energy that goes into not dying into treatments and cures and anti-aging and good health and exercise practices. And all of those are really important, super important. But the reality is they will all fail. One by one, those will fail and you are going to die. At some point, whether it's you're lucky enough to have some warning and you can prepare, whether it's sudden and unexpected, you will die and the people in your life will die. And that's where the train is going, sooner or later. But we have very little transmission of skill about how to do that, about what to do when the end is in sight. And it makes dying much harder than it needs to be. Everything is more difficult if it's unfamiliar. And everything is scarier if it's unfamiliar. Death is hard. Death is sad. Loss and bereavement are hard and sad. There is no sugarcoating that. That's not going to go away but they don't have to be as hard or as sad. If you know what to do, if you have some skills emotionally, in your community, in your family, both for the practical ways of meeting death, but also for the soul-based ways. If you have some preparation, the process is easier. And my hope in the whole death doula, death positivity movement is that we're starting to grow a language and a set of resources and skills about meeting death better because it's hard, but it doesn't have to be that hard.